We're going to look at uh, Bosch power tools. We're going to look at specifically uh, lithium ion power tool. Fantastic lithium ion because it, it really does hold its charge, doesn't leak its charge like uh, old types of batteries. It's a uh, 10.8 volts of uh, lithium ion. There's around three cells in there, just slots into the back end like that. But it produces enough power, more than enough power to do all the jobs around the house that you need to do. And we're going to go through quite a few of the bits that it actually does and just show you really how to make DIY tasks a lot easier for you at home. It's quite ergonomic, so it's really, really easy to hold. There's a rubberized grip on it, so it feels nice and firm in the hand, and it's light. So if you're holding it up, you know, you can hold it up, and you haven't got to worry about the weight just pulling it back down again. It's a very different task, really. Cutting the bottom of the fire trove to fit laminate flooring underneath. You get a scraper blade for it, which you could use to take off sealant, or even to take the lino floor up itself. We also do these pencil cut blades for doing really fine, intricate jobs. So say if you wanted to cut maybe a, a hole for a door handle, something like that where it's only going to be a small square absolutely picture perfect for that we do a HMTCT blade as well that's used for doing tiles and degrouting cutting tiles so maybe if you want to cut the channel in the wall that's the type of blade that you'd actually use and then when you're all finished with that it actually doubles up then as a, a little detail sander so you start and you finish with the same tool. What I'm going to be doing is uh, cutting the heads of the nails actually off. Typically that sort of job's quite difficult to do. You'd have to maybe get like a little junior hacksaw in there, something like that. Again, it's a lot of stress, a lot of strain. The all-rounder makes, makes it just so, so easy, you know. Generally where you've pulled the skirting board off, you've got the nails sticking out. You don't want to pull the nail out. The reason you don't want to pull the nail out is because you'll pull half your plaster work actually out with it. So the best thing to do is actually cut the heads of the nails off, then you're ready to plant a nice new piece of skirting board over the top. It's an awesome bit of kit, you've got to try it to believe it. Just have it sitting there, pick it up, use it, it's just so easy, so versatile, It'll make a big difference in your life as far as DIY is concerned.